Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com dedicated to all things smartwatches, including telecommunications. Have you heard of Freedom Pop? Well, you're about to. Is it too good to be true? Well, you watch the video and then you decide. What you saw in the title of this uh, video, free phone calls, free texting, and free uh, data, is sort of true. Not totally true. It's kind of uh, what they call clickbait. You go, wow, and then you go, hmm, there must be a catch. Well, yes, <laughs> to both of those. It is free calling. It is free texting. But you pay a price for free. What am I talking about? Well, let's get into it. First of all, you're going to get yourself a SIM, and uh, this is a nano SIM. It, it has the adapters for anything. So you, you actually could do this service in a phone if you wanted to, uh, or, of course, like what we're talking here, in an Android standalone watch where you can put the SIM card in, uh, in the watch and use it for calling and texting. Freedom Pop. Freedom Pop is a, uh, a service uh, similar to AT&T and T-Mobile in that it uses the GSM network um, for its carriers. And that's what you need in order to use the SIM in one of these uh, Android smartwatches. In this case, in my case, uh, it's using the uh, AT&T network. And I checked it out and I'm getting, of course, phone calling and texting. And I'm getting okay data. I mean, it's using the same network, so I'm not seeing better or worse than if I put in an AT&T SIM. It runs about uh, 3G speeds, not quite 4G in a smartwatch. Of course, you do get 4G if you put it in a phone. So what's the deal? What is the deal? Well, Freedom Pop is a, is a service. Uh, it's a carrier, and they have a variety of different plans, and they want to sign you up, and they want to make money. Be honest with you. They're not in the business to give you free anything. They're in the business to entice you to try something free and then upgrade to something that's going to cost you some money. So compare these different plans. In particular, look at this premium 2 gigabyte uh, plan. That's 2 gigabytes of data, unlimited text and calling for about $25. The reason I single that one out is when you sign up, for your free account, you don't get the free account. You're automatically signed up for the premium account. What? What, Mr. Tix? Yeah, that's why we're talking about this. Free comes at a cost. Here's a little bit deeper explanation. How the free trial works, okay? You get free shipping, 4G LTE speeds on the network. You get a 2 gigabyte trial premium program and 30 day refund for your free account, right? Here's how it works. Again, free trial of premium 2 gigabyte and and they're throwing in a free trial of phone premier. Okay? Well, that's kind of nice. You can change your plan at any time and you can downgrade to the basic free plan within 14 days of uh signing up for this for you to continue to have the free service. If you don't do that within 14 days of signing up, not of getting the SIM, not of first time you turned it on in your phone, but two weeks from when you sign up, if you don't downgrade your account, you'll be charged the monthly fee for the premium, which was $24.99, right? It even goes on to tell you that. Um... This is something about, I guess, a phone that you could get. Uh, the basic, uh, the basic is 200 minutes, 500 texts, and 500 megabytes. After the free trial, you go on to a month to month, and you're locked into the premium two gigabyte plan for $25, and the the trial that you got at the very beginning of the thing they call the Premier for $10. So $35, um, you'll be charged that first month. But you can downgrade or cancel at any time. The key is you have to downgrade right away within the first two weeks, or you'll be charged for the trial that they're putting you on for the premium and premier. Yeah. What do you get? Well, when you sign up, they're going to send you a kit. And it's got a SIM card uh, in it and the three different 
sizes or little adapters. And uh, again, they're going to sign you up for the, the, the subscription to the, the billable subscription. And they remind you that it comes activated. It's already turned on and activated in a billable subscription. So whether you're using it or not, and of course you're not because it's going to be in the mail to you, you're already on your first month of service for two gigabyte plan for $25. Upon receipt of your SIM, you have to go in and set up your own APN. What the heck is that? Well, we got a video about APNs. I don't have one specific on uh, Freedom Pop, but as you see here, they have a video that'll tell you how to, how to do that. In essence, what you got to do in your phone or your watch, you're going to have to go into the settings of his. You're going to have to drill down to connections. You're going to have to go into the cellular setup. You're going to have to find something called APN and you're going to have to edit that or actually create a new one. Uh, you can't use the AT&T or the T-Mobile one. You have to set up a separate one for Freedom Pop. But once you've done that, you're partway there. The next thing you have to do is download a separate app and they give you the link to do that. Or you go to the Google Play Store and you download uh, that link into your watch or your phone if you're doing this in a phone. And you use that for your calling and your texting. You do not use the standard uh, ones that you find in your device. Those are going to be inoperative. You have to use the specialized app that they uh, set you up with and the APN that you've put on your phone or your watch. But after you've got all that going for you, you're good to go. Here's another little interesting twist to this whole thing with Freedom Pop. If you need some help, well... You can uh, log into your account at myfreedompop.com. You're going to have to set up an account to get started anyway. You can go into the app. Uh, you can call the interactive voice recognition system 24-7 or start a submit a ticket, which uh, is free to get help using a ticket from supportfreedompop.com. If you are a paying customer, you get help within two to, what, one to two days uh, for the free account users, three days or so. This comes in in a little bit. I'm going to tell you more about this. You may need this help. However, if you want to talk to a live agent, you have to pay a fee. Wow. Okay. Paying for help to get you set up or out of a problem um, in addition to what you have to pay for the whole service. Now, I thought the title said free. I thought I was telling you I, you could get free phone calls, right? Yes, but not at first. You have to pay to get free. By that I mean, and here's some of my uh, billing information, when you set up the system, the initial setup is going to cost you $14 right there. This is right off of my account. That gets you the SIM card and the kit to get going. Then, if you're going to use it for phone calls, you need a phone number. You either have to port over your existing phone number or you have to set up a new phone number. It's going to cost you 5 bucks for a new one. So you're looking at almost $20 investment just to get started before your first month of service. With me so far? So now you got 20 bucks into it. And you got this kit coming to you in the mail, and it's already been activated. And then you get an email. Actually, you get a few of them, and this is one of them I just wanted to show you. It says that you've been taking advantage of your Freedom Pop trial offer accepted during your sign-up. You didn't realize you did. That's why I'm pointing this out. But you accepted the free trial for um, the $25 uh, plan. And we're pleased to have you as a valued customer. We hope you're enjoying the benefits of it all. And if you haven't done so, I encourage you to give us feedback as a courtesy to avoid the hassles of setting up your SIM card as if it's a hassle. You stick it in and you turn it on and it activates. We've already taken the initiative to assist you without your asking or your permission with activation so that you may enjoy your service right out of the packaging. Activation means your clock, your one-month clock started ticking when it was activated before it was mailed to you. 
all the time in the mail, when you get it, when you get around to sticking it in your watch, when you get that APN set up, all of that stuff, you've been activated on your trial plan. Two weeks. You have a two weeks on that trial plan, 14 days, to change to the free plan or you're going to be on that plan. I, I know I keep harping this, but you're going to get stuck with a $25 uh, charge if you don't uh, downgrade your plan to the free one, if that's what you're trying to get is the free one. Okay. See, your subscription offer began as soon as your SIM card was shipped, which is basically when they set it up, which is basically when you, uh, when you um, set up the credit card with them. Whoa, credit card? You didn't tell me about a credit card. Well, I am now. You see, in order to uh, pay these fees for the initial setup and the phone line, they ask you for a credit card. Now, they don't just charge you for that, but they put it on record. You have to give them permission to hold it to be billed on a monthly basis. But wait a minute, you're getting the, the no-cost plan. The bill is going to be zero, right? Yes, it is. If you do things correctly, your monthly charge charged to your credit card is zero. Now, hear those words carefully. It comes up a little bit later, too. You will be charged zero dollars to your credit card. Here's one month and here's a second month charged at zero after my initial setup on my uh, invoice. Yeah, hold on to that thought. Come back to that. Please be advised that your trial premium plan will automatically renew at the given monthly rate when your trial offer expires 30 days after your original sign up date as stated in the terms and agreement. You may continue enjoying your premium plan through the remainder of your subscription period upgrade to a higher plan, or downgrade your plan at any time in your online account. Should you decide to downgrade your plan prior to the end of your 30-day subscription period, all additional data, voice minutes, text, value-added services will no longer be available to your account. So, you pay $25. You, if you got hit the first month because you didn't do it in the first two weeks, and then you go, oh, dang, and you downgrade right away, well, you lost all of the benefit of the $25 that you paid for the two gigabytes. So if you go over, you're going to be bumped back up again to a higher rate automatically with add-on minutes. You see how it's getting really, really tricky to keep this thing free? Let me reemphasize. If you're looking to get a SIM card to put in your watch that you'll use occasionally for phone calls and texting, with a tiny bit of data, I mean tiny, and you want to not go over it or you're going to be um, charged automatically on your credit card on file. I keep my data off com constantly. Just use it for phone calls and texting. Otherwise, yeah, you're going to you're going to uh, bounce into their profit making uh, plans, which is what they're in business for. I can't fault them for that. They're a phone company. They need to make money. They can't give you free forever, but they can. If you're savvy and you work just right, also know that at the end of your 30-day period, you will be uh, you will be one month closer to qualifying for an exclusive loyalty bonus program. And after three months, you get 10% more high data to use each month. Not on your free plan, but if you're on a paid plan. Wow. Well, what does it look like? Here's part way through a month, and on the page you're going to uh, see this kind of a summary with how many days you have left. Here I used uh, six uh, minutes of phone calling, one text message to test it out, and ran speed tests to see what kind of data rates I was getting that particular month. And I got this kind of stuff. There's no rollover and there's no bonus on the free plan. But let me tell you something. Um, there's some caveats to this. First of all, texting. Texting is SMS. MMS is the multimedia, right, with pictures and stuff like that. That's going to cost you. If you get an MMS text from somebody with a picture in it, or you try to send something out like that, um, you're going to end up having to bump up. I think it's $1.99 a month extra or something to get text messaging that includes SMS. If you have a call come in and you don't answer it and it goes off to voicemail, well, guess what? You have to pay for voicemail just to retrieve the call that went into voicemail because I guess it's already set up. 
uh, but you can't retrieve it unless you're on a voicemail plan. So $5.99 a month, I'm not sure. You have to check it, but there's a voicemail thing. Uh, <laughs> so there's these little opportunities that you're going to get pushed up against that, and I can't fault them, I got to tell you. If you like it, if you're using it, if you're doing some text messaging and you get a picture sent to you and you want to see it and it's only a couple of bucks, you just upgrade your account to, 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 to get the SMS as well. Makes total sense. But nickels and dimes add up and before you know it, you're on a more expensive plan. So just keep in mind what these plans offer and compare them with other, um, other carriers that you might subscribe to to see if you're getting reasonable rates or not because you will probably end up in one of these zones uh, unless you do something otherwise with T-Mobile or uh, AT&T. Okay, now, a few more little goodies for you that I need to cover. So in my first month of service, after I got the SIM and I put it in and I immediately downgraded my account so that I could activate and use uh, just the free minutes for the rest of that month without worrying about it rolling over in the trial plan. In other words, I took myself off that trial plan right away to the free one. And I used a few minutes, I made some calls, I received some calls, I sent some text, I got some text, and I used the speed test thing to, um, to test out the data. And it all worked fine for that first month. Then it was time to renew. <laughs> Remember I mentioned that the credit card is kept on file and they charge your credit card for what your next month's plan costs. My next month's plan was free. It costs zero. But when they processed the credit card, it didn't go through, they say. And so uh, the whole account was put into suspense. Now, there was nothing wrong with the card and it had been set up already to pay the first two amounts. But this time when they hit it for a fee, it responded as not being available, according to them. So for my entire second month of free service, the SIM was dead. I couldn't make or receive calls or data. It was turned off. The service was turned off until they got a correction on my credit card. So a couple of days later, I got the correction in there. I went in, I made sure they sent a uh, a, a charge of a penny or something to it, and then they took the penny back out to make sure it was valid. That was all fine and dandy. But I still didn't have access to my SIM because you see, they only bill your plan on a monthly basis on the anniversary date of when you set it up. So I had to wait a full 30 days before they would attempt to charge my card again. Month two was a total loss. Month three, they charged my card, zero dollars, and it went through just fine, and I was back working again. And that's where I showed you the little sheet there where I did a phone call or two and text or two, and that one worked fine. It was great till we get to the next month. The next month, and that's the month I'm in right now, all of a sudden, I can't receive phone calls. I can make phone calls, same phone, same SIM, I mean, same watch, same SIM, same APN, all of that stuff but it's not receiving calls, but it is making calls. So I can put in one of those trouble tickets. I can call somebody and actually talk to a human being for a fee, but it's just an indicator that there's, uh, there's interest in shifting to a higher uh, paid plan, it appears. Uh, right now, I'm only using the SIM for calling out. I check the movie schedule occasionally, um, I call uh, Mrs. Ticks with it occasionally. I'm not doing anything with data or text, really. It's just a little fun thing to have an emergency SIM if there were a need for it that I can rely on that I'm getting absolutely free after I paid 20 bucks on a month-to-month -month basis. Oh, there's something else I left out. Um, there was a month in there. I guess I'm on my fourth or fifth month now. There was a month in there where I had it sitting out of the watches and I wasn't doing anything with it. And when I put it back in to try and use it, it didn't work. I had to go in and log into the account and it said it had been deactivated for lack of use. Have you ever on any phone plan you've been on had your phone turned off because you didn't use it for a while? Even though you owned it, you paid for it, 
you've got that many minutes uh, per month uh, that belongs to you. The phone number belongs to you, but they've got turned off. So yeah, uh, you make sure if you do do this, that you make some phone calls, at least one, one a week, I would say, so that if you had an emergency and you needed to use it, it wasn't deactivated by the company. Wow. All right, with all that said, let me summarize. This is a attempt at getting free phone calling, texting, and data, small amount of data, on a monthly basis at no charge. If you follow very carefully some specific guidelines, you can make it happen. You be charged 20 bucks roughly to get it set up, an initial kit to get going, and a phone number that you need to um, assign to it. After that, you'll be able to use the basic plan if within the four, first 14 days of signing up, you downgrade it from premium to basic, and you do that through uh, the web, okay? You will have to install an app on your device. You have to create an APN on your device, and you can only use that app for all of the texting and calling. You're limited to SMS, no MMS. You have voicemail, but if somebody leaves you a voice message, you're not going to be able to retrieve it, as I understand, on a free account. Um, and you're constantly at risk of being bumped up to a higher level. You'll be getting emails and even some notifications, I believe, in the app that you qualify for a special discount on a higher rate plan. And if you accept it, you're immediately shifted and locked in at that price now on a monthly basis until you change it. You're billed once a month. You... Um, have that account that whole month. If you change it during the month, you lose everything and go back to whatever plan you signed up for for that month. And um, you have to pay for, for customer service if you want to call and talk to somebody about it. Your credit card is on file with them and it's at risk of being hit every month with a fee depending on what happened and what you accepted during that month. The fee will be zero but you will be charged zero and the credit card better work. Otherwise, you're inactivated for the whole month. And if you don't use your minutes, if you don't make some calls and texts during the month, they'll inactivate your account. Now, is it worth it? Up to you. But now you know, Freedom Pop, you can find a company that will give you free calling, free texting, free data with caveats. All right. Thanks for watching Smartwatch Ticks. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the company in the process, don't, don't give it a thumbs down. That's rating the video, okay? If you found this educational and helpful, <laughs> give it a thumbs up. Give the thumbs down over someplace else. Uh, it's, you're not giving a thumbs down for the context, the content. Don't shoot the messenger, in other words. Um, and if you like what we're doing here, please subscribe. Uh, we have lots of good stuff to show you and more on smartwatches coming up. We'll see you again soon.